Hello everybody, this is Wayne Barron with Dark Effects TV and today we are going to be doing uh, a two part episode. The first part we're going to do is that we're going to create this little guy right here. Okay, this is inside Photoshop and then after we create this guy, we're going to take him inside of After Effects and we're going to animate him. And so let's go ahead and jump into this. Let's go over here, create a new file here. We want it to be the same as what our man is, which is bring pixels. We got it at 600 pixels high and 398 wide. Click OK. Now we want to go down here to our shapes tool. We want to click on line tool. Up here in our line, we want to, let's see here. Uh, pixels. Okay, there we go. Nope. Okay, here we go. We want it, uh, shape. Um, we have this one set at 1073 uh, pint at 5 picks. And what this is going to do is it's going to create a wider. See, this right here is where you change it. So if you want to have it a lot wider then um, you change that right here but in our case we're going to have it um, with five and so move this guy right here to the center go back down and let's create our upper leg our thigh bottom leg get rid of that one try to keep everything as straight as possible and now let's create our foot let's go back over here leg down and foot so <clears throat> this is our We're going to name this our right foot. And we're going to move it over a little bit. Okay, and then our, it's our right calf. This is our upper. name this off thigh uh, right right thigh yep okay now we want to try to make sure everything stays that's our foot but our foot is not quite the same so we're going to duplicate Foot, and we're going to name this left foot. Alright, let's bring this down to here. Let's move it over to here. Okay. And this is our left calf. down just a little bit and then this is going to be our left thigh and then we're going to move it down some and well that's decent that sort of kind of looks a little awkward there it is offset just a tiny bit so now we want to go over here and we want to do our arm so we're going to start off about right up in here. We're going to go down this line. So that's four squares. And go down this line. Four squares. 
then do three squares there <coughs> and three squares here and now <coughs> this is our left upper arm Using your arrow keys, slide it over a little bit. This is our left, or this is our right upper arm. And this, I want to slide it over as well, bring it up a little bit. This is our left forearm. And we want to move it down just a little bit. And this is be our right forearm. Whoops. Okay, let's try this again. It's going to be our right forearm. Okay, now that we've got that done, let's slide it over. Make sure you got your selection tool in order to be able to slide it. Okay. Looks halfway decent. Then can I just go back over to our shape tool, right click, and choose the ellipse tool. And let's go to a white. Gonna be our head. Okay, and now this is our head. So the first thing we want to do right quick is grab a hold of our this is our upper this is our folder this is for our upper body. And this is our lower body, and I believe this is our body itself, yes, this is our body. And there we go. <coughs> so, now we're working on the head, and let's choose, nope, 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 nope. let's go back. Let's go ahead and make well let's if you press control and the plus key you can zoom in uh, control minus zooms out okay what we want to do is we want to draw some eyes and let's give it a blue and right there so this is the left eye and we're going to duplicate this one and we're going to name this one the right eye okay now we're just gonna slide it over so make it so look like he's looking and now we want to add a nose so we're going to right click and go down to custom shape tool and uh well let's go ahead and do well let's do the nose first and then we'll jump back over here so let's click right here and cannot remember what i used what did i use got a drop or something please So let's go back over here. Now hold it, there it is. Right here. So then we go right here and we draw in. It's almost like a teardrop nose. It's gonna be 
basically white. And then we're going to move it over just a tad and up. Now we're going to add in a mouth from the same palette here. And this is the, um, this is nature. Yep, this is the nature. So once you, you get over here to your shape and you right click and you go down and you choose nature and um then you got this one right here for your nose and then right beside it is a weak squeak squiggly squiggly line that can be used which is waves that can be used for your mouth and there you go so let's zoom out and there is our guy now our legs okay this is the mouth this is the nose if you double click on them then you're able to uh, edit them so uh, this is the face and uh, that's basically it the right thigh does need to come down somewhat because it just doesn't look right. Let's move it over just a little bit. Let's do our right calf, move it over, and then our right foot, move it over. And uh, hmm, looks a little bit better. So then we uh, save this out, and this is the walking man, so this is man one, and then uh, save it, and then on the next part we will take this inside of After Effects and we will animate it. So uh, I hope that y'all enjoyed this uh, Photoshop tutorial. And, uh, Look forward to jumping inside of After Effects and doing that one and making this little guy move around your screen. All right, Wayne Barron for darkeffects.net and darkeffects.tv here on YouTube. Have a good one.